You do know there's a fine line between art and junk, right? Well, today, I'm gonna take some junk and turn it into art. The term art is usually used when you have an emotional connection to the physical thing you're building. Or if it costs a million bucks, well, then it must be art. I'm gonna illustrate this art concept as I build today's project. This is my silver maple tree. This is a branch from my silver maple tree after a storm. Normally, I just chuck the branch into the garbage pile, but never wanting to waste a bad opportunity, I look for the positive in the negative. This branch just became my next project. I sawed the back flat, cleaned it with soap and water, and then let it dry for a few days. This is going to be a wall-mounted coat hook, but not just any coat hook, an artistic wall-mounted coat hook. Let me explain. Often, the difference between art and junk is in the eye of the beholder. There's a deeper meaning and significance in art. So this branch represents history. It signifies the place that I lived for 15 years. It represents my favorite product, wood. It also shows the progression between what looks like a tree at the base and the end of the branch, which serves a purpose as a place to hang my jacket and my hat. Hey, if a banana duct taped to a wall can sell for $120,000, and that's no joke, how much do you think this is worth? And here's the finished product. My artistic expression. I call it transition, which by the way, you know it's great art if you give it a name. This is a display showing the transition between tree and furniture. It's so simple. It's useful. You can put it in your man cave, your office, your garage, or your cabin if you have one. So all art really is, is displaying elements in such a way that appeals to the senses, the emotions, this is a naturally occurring sculpture. To me, that's art. And it's got special meaning to me because it fell from my tree and didn't hit my car. <laughs> well, thanks for watching Alley Picked, where I love making cool stuff from junk.